Hey everybody and welcome back to my first vlog back since giving birth. Please excuse the state of me, I did not expect to come on camera today. The reason that I am here on camera is because I accidentally deleted the clip where I introduced this vlog. So I was like, I'm gonna have to come on and introduce it because otherwise you're all gonna be really confused. Um, yeah, I don't know how I managed to do that. Honestly, my brain at the moment is just all over the place. But yeah, this is my first vlog back. So this vlog is just a chilled one, really. I went to the farm shop with my mum. We also did a little bit of antique shopping and then it's just general like chit chat at home kind of vibes. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'm just trying to get into the swing of like vlogging. Oh, there's Goldie, so I better go. Um, but anyway, hope you enjoy the vlog and I will see you in my next one. Bye. So we're just here now at the farm shop. It's called The Hollies. Um, we've just had some food. We just had a chocolate brownie milkshake, which was delish. Sorry, you can probably hear the white noise <laughs> machine in the background. Goldie's had some milk, and now we're just having a little browse. We have her here and her pram. Just gonna have a little look around the shop now, um, around the farm shop with the food, and see what there is. But yeah, it's such a lovely day makes such a change it was horrible yesterday it literally did not stop raining all day i couldn't even get out to walk craft um actually we did get out in the end didn't we but it was pretty pretty full-on <laughs> rain most of the day so it's nice to have some sun look at all of the autumn decor do you know what i'm sound excited but i'm actually not excited for autumn because <laughs> i feel like we didn't really get much of a summer but this is very cozy vibes sorry since having a baby i'm just obsessed with jelly cats like they're just so cute i can't even cope Goldie's got this little bunny, but I'm obsessed. Like, how cute. Oh my God, look. <laughs> oh, it's all just so sweet. Cake, little popcorn. Yeah, I don't know why I'm so obsessed. It's kind of strange, but they're so cute. All of the Christmassy bits, mince pies, panettone. Just love the farm shop. So fun looking at everything that I probably won't buy, or if I buy, I end up not using it, but just looks so nice. A little wander around the farm shop and now we're going to walk, well we're going to attempt to walk up the road but we're not sure how busy it is because there's like a um, architectural salvage place like just five minutes up the road and um, we've been to a few times before it just has that like, really cool like antique stuff so yeah we're going to try and walk it but I actually think is there even a pavement? Yeah exactly. Um, we might have to get in the car. We'll see but it seems like such a nice day so I kind of want to walk. This is where we've come, by the way. For anyone wondering, yeah, it's quite a busy road, isn't it? So this is the place here. There's like loads to it, but we're gonna head in into this one. So as you can see, just loads of like antique furniture and stuff. But then over here is, for example, like loads of sleepers and things like that that you could use for like renovations. Um, but yeah, really, really like different stuff. Bought a few things from here over the years. Just saying that this is such a nice little table there. And I like this chest as well, it's on wheels, that's so handy. I don't know what you'd put in there, but... <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> There's a muslin at the bottom of the pram, yeah. <laughs> it's going well, it's going well. Loads of nice mirrors as well. That's a lovely little um, small chandelier as well, it's gorgeous that. So cute. That is also so cute for a little nursery. How sweet is that? Love it. Mum and I are obsessed with doors like this and those shutters as well. They're nice. That's, no, not as nice as some of the ones we've seen, but these are gorgeous. 795. Stunning. I'm going to go in this one now. It's so cool to have a little wander around. I love places like this. Here's another room. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Such a nice room. Oh wow, yeah, that's stunning. Is that like French or something? Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, French. That is so nice. I want that. That's really wide and out of room as well. Yeah. And there's a corner piece. If Goldie didn't have a changing table in our room, we could put it in that corner. <laughs> so, so nice. Look at this stunning console table. It's beautiful. And it's reduced. 695. That is pretty good for such a big like intricate piece of furniture yeah that's stunning so so nice it's gorgeous i'm actually really tempted by these mirrors are they actually connected i don't think they are no they're not 
They're so nice. I mean, you can have them whichever way. I mean, I'm only going to have a changing <laughs> table in there for a few more months, aren't I? Yeah. Sam will kill me if I come home with them. I don't think we can get them in the car, really. We could if we put the back seat down next to her. And, and they'll sit in the front. Yeah. It's quite expensive, really, though, isn't it? When I don't need them. <laughs> What do you think, Goldie girl? She's totally disappearing. What do you think? No, she doesn't. She's fine. What do you think? Oh, oh. That's what she thinks. Sneeze if you think I should get them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see, but they have loads of like brick stones and all this like um, reclaimed stuff as well that you can use for Renaults. Just heading into this one now. I love looking at all this stuff. I just find it so fascinating. It's like one of my favourite things to do. Yeah, so they have like all these like fire inserts and stuff, and then these look really gorgeous, like over a fireplace as well, I think loads of outdoor bits as well like literally so much i mean if you wanted a humongous horse as well this is the place to come <laughs> but yeah it's a great place to have a wander around and i have bought a few things here in the past so it's definitely worth a trip out if you enjoy antiques i often get asked about the shelves that i have in my dressing room and also our kitchen these ones they're not from here but these are really really similar um if anyone's on the lookout the ones i got are actually from etsy but these look so nice in the kitchen, I think. And then they've got all these antique brackets as well. Sorry, but can you even cope with the way that she <laughs> has her hands? Oh, it's literally like she just heard me. <laughs> but she always has her hands like crossed like that. So cute. So, so cute. So we are back home now. It's a little bit later. It's like half past six. And I am making the most of having my mum here. And currently sorting out my wardrobe. Honestly, <laughs> I know I'm going to regret starting this, but I really need to do it because at the minute I just like have nothing to wear. Like I feel so lost with what to wear. Obviously the weather's getting colder as well, so I wanted to get like all of my knitwear out and everything like that. But currently I'm looking at such a mess and I'm like, oh my God, I really wish I hadn't started this. But I know this is like my only opportunity to do it. So I'm like, do you know what? Just power through, get it done. Let me show you what I'm looking at at the minute. Okay, this is where we're at. I've got all of my knitwear out, um, so that's all hanging up there. And then at the minute, I've just got piles, piles, more piles. This is this is where we're where we're at. I'm just trying to sort all these bits and bobs out now. So I thought I would just film a little time lapse of me doing it, just because I thought that might be interesting. I don't know. I'm not planning on like getting rid of loads of stuff because obviously, like at the minute where things aren't fitting me right now I'm hoping that they will like at some point in the future maybe so I'm not going to get rid of loads but I just need to like organize it all and um like I said get out all of like my winter bits and everything like that god I like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards I'm so hot and sweaty doing this as well um I feel like this is like a postpartum thing I'm just hot 24 7 I probably should take this jumper off um I'm so hot all the time like I think like it's the hormones Oh my god, I'm always so warm and like the night sweat and everything like that are real. So yeah, sorry, I literally do look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. But anyway, let's crack on with this because I really need to get it sorted because I do not want to leave it like this and then my mum leave and then me not have a chance to sort it out. So I said all of that and then I didn't vlog, but I'm still here, I'm still going. Um, we are now onto this section of the wardrobe, so I'm just working my way through it now. So enjoy this time lapse. Finally. <laughs> Okay, this is where we are at. This is a big pile of bits to give to the charity shop. This is a selection of bits that I think I'm gonna sell just because I think they're pieces that like you guys would want and um, there's some really nice pieces in there. Um, stuff with like tags on and stuff. This is a really gorgeous blazer from And Other Stories but just doesn't fit me. Um, never really fit me to be honest, but there we go. And then this is how we are looking in here. I've got like a few cardigans here and then the rest is jumpers. I'm so aware, there's also jumper dresses as well, um, I'm so aware that nobody needs this much knitwear, it's ridiculous, um, but <laughs> I, mean, I don't really know what to say, I have no excuse other than the fact that like I've collected these over years and years, but yeah, I probably will go and do like a little bit more of a cull, but I think for now this will do until I kind of know what kind of vibe of things that I'm wearing this winter and stuff, I don't know, I just, I'm going through a bit of, the, a, bit of a thing at the minute where I'm like, I hate all of my clothes, but I think it's just 
where I'm struggling to dress at the minute and I'm sure it will pass. And we're still very much a little bit of a mess over here. Hey everyone, I am so sorry for being so, oh god, I'm just working. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to vlog with her on my chest, but I felt like it's going to wake her up. I don't know, maybe if I talk quite quietly, that's probably really annoying for you guys. What was I saying? <laughs> yeah, I was saying how I'm really sorry about how awful I've been at vlogging. I mean, I did warn you, <laughs> this vlog was going to be a little bit of a mishmash, probably a disaster. Um, I just have Goldie in the Artie Pop sling at the minute just because she's been really fussy today um, she didn't sleep very well last night and she hasn't really taken a bottle very well this morning so she's just been quite fussy so normally I am able to pop her down for a nap um, but yeah she's just not really having it today my mum also has really sadly had to go home early. She was going to be staying for a couple more days um, and we we're going to be going out tonight for like my first night out since having Goldie with a few friends. Um, and then I was getting my hair done tomorrow so my mum was going to look after Goldie. But unfortunately she's come down with a really really bad cold. I feel like it's literally everywhere at the minute and so many people are ill. And yeah she's just feeling really poorly and she really didn't want to give that to Goldie obviously when she's so little um, and she didn't want to give it to me either so she's decided to head home instead which is definitely like the right decision but it's just sad because I want to spend a bit more time with her and also it means we aren't going out tonight anymore but it's fine it's not a big deal we can do it another time um, and luckily Sam is able to have Goldie tomorrow <clears throat> he was meant to be at work but he's now been able to have it off so um he yeah is having goldie tomorrow so i can still get my hair done thank god because this hair i mean it's so greasy right now it probably looks absolutely awful i barely even looked at it but um yeah it's in dire need of being done i can't remember the last time i got it done it was quite a long time ago now so yes I'm very, very glad that Sam's able to have her tomorrow, which means I can still get my hair done. So that's nice. But yeah, sadly my mum has had to go. So it's just me and Goldie today, and I've literally just been like doing errands, washing up bottles, putting some washing in, things like that. Um, and yeah, that's kind of my plan for today. Nothing too exciting. I kind of feel like I don't know what to vlog because my days are very samey. Like I know I went out with my mum a little bit, but when it's just me, and Goldie like we just do the same thing every day like we literally get up have a bottle she goes down for a nap while I have a shower and then we kind of just like cuddle change nappies more bottles a couple more naps like <laughs> there's not really a lot that I do um especially because when she's napping if she's not napping on me I have to stay obviously in the room that she's napping in um so there's only so much I can like do in one room I don't know it's just not a lot to show you but I know people do just like like stay at home chilled vlogs um but even i feel like i'm not doing much at home you know <laughs> like normally i'd be like running around like organizing things and i mean my wardrobe sort out is like half done um i managed to sort out my knitwear but i still need to do my coats and all of that sort of thing um so yeah i feel like <laughs> everything is a little bit like I don't know just slower paced and which is nice um and it's how it should be definitely but i feel like it makes for a bit boring viewing can you hear her snoring um <laughs> this carrier is actually amazing and um, they are really expensive and when i first looked at them i was like oh my god they're just so expensive but lots of my friends have loved them um one of my friends in particular tried so many carriers ended up probably spending the amount of this carrier on all the different carriers that she tried and she just couldn't get on with any of them so in the end she tried um this one the arty pop one and she said it was just amazing anyway as i said um today is just chilled because we're not going out tonight anymore <laughs> i um actually had absolutely nothing to wear anyway tonight i literally had to do a huge asos order because nothing like appropriate for like going out dressy vibes fit me at the minute and um, so i did a big asos order which is due to arrive today <laughs> but obviously i don't need it anymore so i'll probably just return that um but i have also got a few other orders 
that I'd like to show you guys if I can find the time to do it. I feel like I'm not going to be able to do it with her in the sling because it's going to be quite noisy, like opening the packages. But maybe when Sam gets home later, I could show you guys what I got. It's mostly just like a few autumn bits. Um, I think there's like a couple jumpers. Not that I need any more jumpers. <laughs> but I can't help myself, okay? I, just, I do really love autumn knitwear. And I have also got two huge bags for the charity shop which I need to drop off at some point as well. So yeah, we have done a big like clean out of the wardrobe. So yes, I just thought I'd come on and have a little chat. Um, and as I said, I will come back when Sam's home so that I can show you the bits and bobs that I've been ordering recently. <laughs> I feel like I spend so much time online shopping at the minute because when, you're, when you've got a baby on top of you when you're like nap trapped or whatever it is in the night fees and stuff like that, like. What else do you do other than just like browse online? <laughs> um, so <clears throat> yeah, I feel like I spend my life on like Zara app, H&M app. I used to also have all those apps at the minute. So yeah, probably am buying far too much, <laughs> but <laughs> there we go. I normally end up taking most of it back anyway, but we'll see. We'll see how it is. Hopefully some of the stuff that I've ordered um, in the last like week or so will look nice and fit me. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely struggling with how to dress at the minute because I think I've already spoken about this but nothing fits I don't really want to spend a fortune on like new clothes when I don't know how much longer my body's going to be like this size and shape and stuff um but equally at the same time like I, I hate getting ready in the morning because I just feel like I have nothing to wear and it just like puts me in a bit of a like crappy mood when you're trying on things and they just don't fit you and stuff so I do want to buy clothes that fit me but then at the same time I'm like oh, is it a waste when I don't know how much longer they're going to fit me for but then I kind of decided do you know what I'll buy a few pairs of jeans like I'll buy a blue pair a black pair and a green pair and then I've got like my three bases covered and then if I do happen to like get smaller or whatever I can get them taken in so it's not like wouldn't be a massive waste um I could just yeah have them taken in by a tailor or whatever um so yeah that's kind of what I decided to do but now I just need to find some jeans that fit me. <laughs> I do have one pair of Abercrombie ones. Um, but yeah, we will see. Anyway, I'll stop rabbiting now because it's been 10 minutes. But um, this is <laughs> this is what the carrier looks like. She's a little bit wonky in it just because she's shifted um, as she's been asleep. But yeah, it's actually really, really nice to wear your baby as well. Like I really enjoy it. It's so nice to have her like so close to you, but not have your arms feel like they're about to drop off. <laughs> um, so anyway. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later now and Sam is home from training. Just trying to find a lip pencil that's sharp enough to use. And so we are going to pop out for some lunch. So I thought I would just show you what I'm wearing. Hang on. The hair is very much scraped back because I just thought there's no point in washing it if I'm getting it done tomorrow. I seem to have lost all of my lipsticks. They're obviously like in bags somewhere, but I can't find any of them. This is my outfit. I just have this Adenola um, t-shirt on. It says, I don't know what it actually says. What does it say? Adenola pleasure, no, <laughs> alive with pleasure. <laughs> and then it's got like something on the back as well. And then these jeans are from Zara. I bought these in my first trimester, probably when I was like, actually it might have been a little bit after my first trimester, I was probably about 14 weeks pregnant. I've just got them on, they're a little bit uncomfortable. I can't dot the top button, so I've done the old hairband trick. If you guys don't know this trick, it's the best trick ever. So it's when you can't do up your jeans. I can actually do these up, but when I sit down, they're really uncomfy. So basically you just get a hairband. It actually works better with a thinner hairband. I'm sure so many people know this. I'm probably teaching you guys how to like, do something really obvious but literally just pop the hairband through the buttonhole so it's like that do you see and then with the two loops loop it on to the button this is really great if you are early stages in pregnancy and you're trying to wear your jeans still just means that they stay up basically without having to do up that top button and then i've just tucked the top in anyway so you can't see it um and then i'm gonna wear my new shoes let me go get my new shoes these are my new shoes. They're the Adidas Campus. I feel like these are gonna be such a love or hate kind of shoe. Um, 
because they look they look very much like the skate shoes that were very in like in the like noughties um but i think they're really cool and i like the green and i kind of match the green and the green and then i'm just going to chuck a bomber jacket on on top i think like a black bomber um but yeah i haven't worn these yet so they came their first outing this is one of the reasons why being up at two in the morning is great because i managed to get these because they're sold out everywhere and they came back in stock and I had the notification on and it happened to be when i was doing a night feed so i was like yes so thank you very much Goldie for keeping me up all hours of the night because it means I was able to get my hands on these. Um, my camera battery is currently flashing so I'm going to pop you guys on charge whilst we go out and then I will come back afterwards and show you some bits and bobs um, that I've been buying recently. This is going to turn into quite a long video I think, <laughs> so sorry about that. But yeah, let's go. Good morning guys, it's actually the next day now even though I'm wearing the same top as yesterday. Um, but I have had my hair done so I do look a little bit different probably. Um, I went and got my hair done this morning and oh my goodness it felt so good and it just feels so good to have it done and just feels so fresh and i just like feel a bit more like me it's so funny i literally just had the best most relaxing time in the hairdressers and i feel like before i had a baby i would have seen like four hours in the hairdressers as like not like an inconvenience because i absolutely love going to hairdressers because i love my hairdresser but as like a long time to just sit there and like do nothing when like i could be getting on with loads of other stuff but now <laughs> now i have a baby it was so nice just to like sit there and chill and oh, just like have a little bit of me time. Um, really luckily Sam had her this morning, so that was really nice for him as well. And um, yeah, it meant that I could get my hair done and I just feel like a new woman. So very, very happy with that. I am now obviously back home. I just had some lunch and I'm just sorting out like some washing and like bits and bobs like that. There is so much washing when you have a newborn. So much sick. Um, which means, yeah, I am constantly washing things. So, so many people told me that I bought way too many clothes and that I just didn't need all those like baby clothes and stuff. But I'm so glad that I did because it means that I'm not washing as, like I'm washing loads, but I'm not washing as much because I luckily do have like quite a few baby clothes to like switch her into and stuff. But yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, a little bit later, sorry. I know I said I was gonna show you all the bits that I've been buying, but I decided, sorry to be so annoying. This is literally probably gonna really annoy everyone. Um, I'm going to save that for the next vlog just because there's a couple things I'm waiting on and I figured it would be better to just put it all in together and then I can do like a really big, long, kind of like haul style vlog. Um, and also this vlog is already pretty long as it is. So yeah, I thought that would be better. Um, but don't worry, I'm literally going to start filming it today. Um, so hopefully it will be up for you soon, but I thought I would show you whilst I'm here My first years sent Goldie a little PR package Goldie's first PR package um, If you don't know the brand my first years, it's a lovely brand for gifting um, I've gifted a lot of um, my friends bits and bobs from here because they just do really gorgeous bits and you can personalize them um, And yeah, I just think it's really nice. So this box is personalized too <laughs> the rabbit hanging out there but it says welcome to the world goldie and yeah it's a really really nice brand so if you are looking for like gifts or anything um so first up we have this little bunny oh, which has her name there which is just so sweet i love that um and it comforts her as well with her name which is really cute and you know what i actually thought she was a little bit young for things like this but um she has another comforter and she really loves holding it, like she loves holding on to things. So yeah, there's that. And then this is literally so cute. I love these hooded towels. They're just adorable. And again, it says Goldie and like the ears, especially when you put like her little head in there and just go, oh, it's so cute, so, so cute. Um, so yeah, these are really, really handy to have. She actually really, really enjoys bath time at the minute. So yeah, that's nice. And then this, I'm sorry. This is so cute. A little robe and it's so soft. And again, it says Goldie. Like how cute is that? What age is that? So I think that would probably fit when she's a little bit bigger. Oh, zero to six months. That looks quite big. But just imagine her in that. Honestly, breaking my heart. I also thought whilst I'm here, I would show you this little book um, that I have, which is basically a baby book for Goldie. And um, I spent couple days last week when my mum was here filling it out and so I wanted to show you it and also show you what I use. So basically it's a baby book that also goes through like your pregnancy as well and so there's like gaps to put like scan pictures and stuff like that. Let me hang on let me turn this around. 
So like that's all like the scans I had and I also have one of my pregnancy tests in there as well. Um, and you can like bite little bits and bobs and yeah, it goes through like all of like the different trimesters and stuff. And I put like Polaroids and stuff in and it's just, yeah, so, so nice to be able to look back on. And don't get me wrong, I know this is not like a thing that most people would have the time to fill out. It was just because my mum was up and she was looking after her that I thought I may as well do it whilst I have time. And I'll probably, I don't know how much time I'm going to get to finish it, but I just thought, yeah, while I had the time, I would do it. Um, so yeah, literally, it's just lovely. I've got some more Polaroids. That's like all my third trimester pictures. And you can like do little family trees and just like pop all your pics in and it's just really nice like this page says your first photos and yeah i just popped some polaroids in there again i haven't finished it so i've been filling that out and i've been really really enjoying doing it and i think yeah it'll be a lovely keepsake for her because i didn't have one of these my mum never made me one of these probably because i wasn't the first child <laughs> like i feel like if i have any more kids i'm not gonna have time um but i would have really liked one so i just thought that'd be nice and then for the polaroids that i popped in that book i've been using this so i bought this from john lewis the other day and it's an instax polaroid printer so i have an instax camera and that's great for like in the moment when you want to take a polaroid and all of that kind of thing but then when you want photos that look like polaroids that aren't polaroids like ones you've taken on your phone this is amazing um so you basically just connect it up to your phone and then you can print out pictures and then they look like polaroids so it actually hasn't got any film in it so i can't show you it in action but i can show you like the pictures that I printed with it, which are in here. These pictures here are all from my phone and I printed them out using the Polaroid printer. And I just think it just looks so nice. And I don't know, I think it's a nice touch. Same with these pictures. They're just pictures from my phone that I printed out as Polaroids. So yeah, I just thought it was a nice touch if you are doing like a scrapbook, photo album, or even in like photo frames and stuff like that. I'll link the camera down below but, and I'll link the book as well. I think they do two different colors of this book, but yeah thought I'd mention it whilst I'm here and then I think I'm going to go ahead and finish the vlog here I really hope that you've enjoyed it I'm sorry that it's been like such a mishmash and all over the place but I feel like that might be how my vlogs are for the next while um so yeah thank you so much for watching and persevering with me I will do my best to keep getting vlogs out um but yeah they might be a little bit sporadic just while I try and find time to edit I'm literally just thinking in my head now like when am I going to find the time to edit this but hopefully I'll get some time on an evening when Sam's here. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon in my next video. Lots of love. Bye.